Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. How is everyone? Hope you're all well. I did put readings up on Monday for people who are completely single, so you might want to check those out if this doesn't resonate. Pisces, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Pisces viewers? Clear messages and guidance, please, for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Does Pisces need to know about their love life? Anything else they need to know? Clarity, please. Ah, the great bear. Someone's waking up. <laughs> the great awakening, I feel. We've got the great bear. Someone's waking up. They're just ravenous. Someone's come out of that cave. <laughs> nice. I see the northern lights in the background. I love that energy. Yes, there's a neat, there's some kind of clarity. There's a lot of color. Everything is very clear. So very nice. Definitely someone's waking up. Yeah, someone's gone through some kind of healing. They're coming out as this cocoon. Someone's gone through a lot of changes. Yeah, someone's been working on themselves, concentrating on their work. Mm -hmm. Very nice energy. Somebody here is definitely, there's been some kind of a break between you and someone, or this is just someone who's coming towards you. This is someone who's ready to put in some hard work. And I feel they've worked on themselves. They're coming out as this cocoon. Very nice. Wow. Eight of arrows. Struggle. Yeah. So I feel as though this person is definitely, uh, They've gone through a lot of struggle, a lot of challenge. They were trapped in something, trapped in some kind of energy they needed to release. They had a lot of work to do. This could be yourself too. You're healing, releasing, coming out as this beautiful butterfly. Now you may be focused on work. You may be too focused on work, actually. But I feel it's this person, this energy around you. And let's see what this is all about. There we go, Pisces. Eight of those, yeah. There's some kind of communication. I feel like someone's about to break free from a situation. They definitely were trapped in some kind of energy here. And I feel that they needed to kind of pull away. They needed to hold back, do some thinking, clear out some negative thoughts. It could be that simple. It doesn't have to be so dramatic. These cards are so, so very spiritual, so very deep. All right. But it really could be that way for a person here. Pisces. I see a communication with the hearth fire. This is someone who's ready to communicate. They're ready to kind of get moving. They're very passionate, very creative. Yeah, there's this nine of bows. This person's ready to put something in the past. They're ready to move towards something more successful. They're holding on to that wand. That could be you. It's that passion and that drive. They, they, this person's got some kind of renewed energy. Yeah, they're definitely figuring something out they want to figure they're trying to figure out something here they're very focused on it with this seven <sighs> love that energy yeah very focused on something they're trying to figure out something and it could be maybe whether you've um, put this person behind and moved on in another direction pisces 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 what's happening there we go Ah, there you are, trusting your intuition. You have all the answers you need. So this could be yourself or this person could be focused on you. You may be aware of it. Your intuition may be telling you this person's trying to figure out something. It could be their feelings. It could be they're trying to figure out what you're focused on. You're definitely trusting your intuition. I see that see your energy. You have all the answers. I think you probably know who this person is. We have the six of bows abundance. Yeah, this person's ready to set themselves free. And I do. I feel like you are aware of this person's energy. If you haven't, you will be now that they're focused on you, trying to figure out what you're focused on. Okay. And it's possible, too, this is their energy. They may have Pisces in their chart. They may be uh, seeking answers within, trying to figure out what you're up to. You know, they could be getting tarot card readings and things like that. <laughs> I see so it's very spiritual. Yeah, very much so. Six of bows. This person's ready to set themselves free. They're ready for success. They want to put whatever it is behind and they want to move forward. So I feel it's possible to have success, but trust your intuition here. Okay, only you know how you feel about this situation, this person. Tell me about the great bear. 
if this is you, you have all the answers that you need. You know everything. You know. Trust your intuition. Okay? Uh, you're definitely, there's this energy of, it could be somebody who's um, setting themselves free from their own ego as well. Very well could be. So we'll see with the great bear. Yeah, so we have someone here who's definitely single. So someone who generally has been sticking to themselves, focused on their money, being very grounded. This is someone who's a little bit of a loner, probably rather private. They've been work concentrating on their work. They're planning something for the future. This person's been holding back and thinking and healing. Wow, a little bit of a break. Some of you might be feeling like you need a break. <laughs> you're, ready, you're kind of waking up from a long sleep. Uh, you're single. You may be thinking, oh, it's time to start putting some effort into love. <laughs> Maybe you were trapped in a karmic situation or relationship and it's time to uh, set yourself free, to move away from that, to put it behind you. You may be focusing on work during this time while you were healing as well. Tell me about the Four of Arrows. Yeah, so there is some kind of a communication. There's something you're looking at here. Uh, this is the details of a situation, maybe a communication. Some of you are just focused on your money, like really focused on your money. <laughs> I can see that too. Yeah, you're, I feel, I mean, you could be just sticking to yourself, just trusting your intuition. Maybe you just want to be free right now. But I feel that energy. Something here is very freeing. And I do see some kind of communication. I think there's someone who wants to talk to you. Uh, maybe you're thinking of reaching out to someone else or they're thinking of reaching out to you. But I think you're fo you focused on your money. You're something very creative. It's helping you heal. It's helping. It's giving you that release. And uh, I feel you're looking good. I feel you're taking care of yourself, your house, your home. Focused on, on the future. And I feel like you're ready to now put something behind and focus on the future. Too much focus on money, time for something else, yeah. So there is this energy of investing, yeah. You were very much invested in something here. And I feel that you've got this person here, I feel, that was sort of going through a lot of challenges. This is a struggle. This is someone who's trapped. They feel like they're trapped, but they're not, okay? So you, if you're feeling like this, you are not trapped, okay? So just be patient with yourself. I feel like someone's waiting for the right time to communicate. Uh, maybe this is someone who needed to invest in themselves. Maybe this is yourself. Okay, you needed to spend some time just doing you, taking care of yourself and take a little bit of break, maybe from dating, uh, whatever that is. It could be you're just thinking even working hard and you're thinking of taking a break because you've been, you know, trapped in this energy for a long time. It just keeps going on and on and it's time to go have some fun. You may be thinking of travel, uh, some kind of vacation, some kind of a trip. You might be focused on that. But I think you've got someone here who wants to know what you're focused on. <laughs> yeah, I see this justice. Yeah, something's just, there's something just, something fair. I think someone wants to talk to you. They Maybe they want to make something right. I think somebody is, uh, someone, you know, they. I feel like you've got someone, oh my gosh, yeah. Someone wants to make something right. They want a fresh new start. Uh, I mean, it could be yourself. I see a Libra energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is definitely here. I feel there's, you have had a tough time, like you feel pretty beat up, but you're, you're coming out of whatever this is. And I feel this person is as well. It's almost like it's just time for a vacation. It's time to get out of your head. It's time to stop just investing in money. You're waiting patiently for your investments to pay off. I feel you need to be patient. It's telling you to be patient. Some of you are kind of tired of that energy, but I feel someone's waiting for the right time to come towards you, to talk, to communicate, to offer you this fresh new start, to make something right. This is someone who may actually see you as the one. They want to put whatever happened in the past. They're holding on to that wand, to that passion. That's the one. So yeah, whatever it is, I, I feel there's something here to do with respect as well. Yeah, someone's ready to set themselves free to come towards you. And this person's aiming for success. They want to have success. Yeah, this is setting themselves free. I, I think you're thinking of a trip and a vacation. It could be that simple. But this other person's energy is a little different than yours. They want, uh, this is someone who wants to talk to you about commitment, marriage, about making something right, uh, that maybe you're the right one for them. And they want to have success. So you may go on a trip with this person. Uh, they may... 
uh, offer you something to to start new. It could be a new person. It could be you're healing with something. You're ready, and all of a sudden this person comes in. You've been very patient. I feel focused on money. Literally trapped in that money energy and in your head about it. Right, very much focused on it. So yeah, look at this. I feel as though you're ready. Yeah, you're ready for something. You're ready for an adventure to meet someone new. You're ready for an adventure, I think, in love, a fresh new start. You're going to go out and meet some people here. And if not, you've got this person coming who wants to have success with you. They want to date you. They want to get together with you. It could be a little bit of a reunion, a get together. You may get an invitation from somebody. You may be looking at that invitation. You might be kind of holding back and thinking about it a little bit first. Tell me about the archer. Yeah, so there's some kind of transformation. Yeah, so this person's definitely been focused on something. Uh, I think they're focused on you. And they're trying to figure out what you're up to. So there is this ending, this transformation. This person's ready. I, I think you're both ready to be free. You're ready for an adventure, a new adventure in love. You're ready for something successful. It's time to leave something in the past. Whether it has to do with both of you or you're each on your own little path, your own little journey here. And there's two people coming together. Yeah, you have all the answers. You have all the answers within yourself. You already know there's something here. You are ready for love. And I think you've got someone here who's focused on you and they're ready to transform, possibly take this to another level as well. So there's definitely this energy of love, this uh, moving forward, this new adventure. I see some kind of success and victory here. Wow. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's planning something. This is someone very successful. They're used to getting a lot of attention. They may be wondering what you're focused on. They may, you know, be checking you out on social media with the seer. <laughs> it could be them checking you out, Pisces. Yeah, to see if you have anybody, to see what's going on with you, to see who you're giving your attention to. Could be definitely social media. I think this person's making plans. They're very practical, very grounded, uh, definitely financially stable. This could be yourself. It could be them. Like your, en your energy is kind of meshing together because you're both on some kind of journey here. I see this setting yourselves free, moving towards something successful. You're going to go out and meet new people. You may be getting a lot of attention. Uh, you're putting something behind you. You're feeling free. You're feeling good. And I, I love this. There's something beautiful about to happen. Wow. And it could be the person sending you a message asking you. It could be simple that, you know, you're going through this and someone's asking you if you're single. If you're dating anyone, if you're free, do you want to get together? You may get an offer. Hey, are you free? Do you want to get together? It could be that simple. Okay. So we have this grounded person who's planning something. This is someone who plans for success. They're definitely successful. They're used to getting a lot of attention. This is someone who's kind of used to being chased. They probably have a little bit of an ego. They have a lot of abundance. <laughs> mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. What's this person's intentions towards you, Pisces? Whoops, that one's the one. Yeah, this person's a little bit worried about whether there can be success or not. A little stressed. This is unfounded fears, though. Because I'm seeing this uh, abundance here. Tell me about what is this person's intentions? They may have some regrets and remorse. Yeah, this person, they want to move away from this energy. I feel like this person's maybe worried that you've moved on. So I feel like there's definitely something here for some of you. I do see a possible reunion, but I also see an invitation, a date. You may meet this person. Uh, you might travel, be going somewhere to another community, maybe with friends, family. You may meet this person. This could transform. This could go. This could turn into love. And I, I feel as though this person's definitely... Uh, trying to figure out something, how to transform a situation. It's a very beautiful connection. There's love here. I feel this person is, uh, you know, this could be you too. You have all the answers that you need. You, you could be going through this and realizing that you actually love somebody, but there's some kind of stress and worry, maybe a little bit of sleepless nights about whether or not uh, you're still available or vice versa, but I feel this person's planning something. There, there's something to do with this movement moving forward moving away from a situation yeah this person's up in their head they're definitely thinking and strategizing to make a move this person's about to make a move 
Uh, they're a little bit stressed out about it. This is someone who has a tendency to overthink. Yeah, they're a little afraid here. Sacrifice, yeah. They're afraid to sabotage. Is they usually how I see this? This person's afraid, uh, afraid to sacrifice something here. Afraid to sabotage it. Yeah. They know that this person needs to move away from this energy or they will sabotage this connection, this regret. or It's just a stressful energy. They're in their head. This person's probably waking up thinking about you. Yeah. This person's definitely... They, ha they have things they need, they're going to need to sacrifice if they come towards you. They're going to need to cooperate, compromise. I feel this is somebody who's definitely ready for a whole new path. But I think this person's... If this is someone you know... And something happened between you. I don't see the energy here. I see the healing. I see that you're single. I think that someone just wants to know if you're single. Whether it's someone you dated and it didn't go very well. This is the Great Bear. And I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is definitely in this reading. And then I see your energy, Pisces. I see Scorpio and Gemini. But, you know, you can take that as it resonates. I'm definitely feeling a little sad. But we always get that energy in love readings, don't we? Yeah, so I feel there's someone here. Yeah, this person's a little bit, they're, they're not trusting a situation, right? This person's up in their head. They got a little mental conflict going on. Uh, they're up in their head. It's like, it's almost like they're just afraid to sabotage a situation. They have to sacrifice. They have to cooperate, compromise. They want to make sure you can get on the same page. But I feel this person's trying to trust their intuition. Maybe they're getting tarot card readings. They're not really trusting whether this is going to work, if they're on the right page or the right path here. But it is definitely, there is something very compatible about the two of you. I see that. Two people coming together to build each other up. Uh, there needs to be trust. They may have some trust issues, okay? Or maybe they're worried you won't trust them. But generally when I see these cards like this, this is someone who's going through some kind of mental conflict. They're kind of up in their head. Probably wake up first thing in the morning and you're in their head. They go to sleep at night, you're in their head. They wake up at night and you're in their head, right? They think too much. Yeah, they think too much to the point where they might sabotage this actually. You know, they need to take what they learned from this. They could be having dreams about you. Okay, and uh, yeah, I see some kind of spiritual dreams. They may be getting little downloads, and uh, they're not really trusting it, but there's something they need to take from this, something that resonates. Yeah, they're going to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. They're ready to go off on this path. This person's definitely coming in, uh, using all the power they have to control a situation. So this person's trying to stay in their power. They're trying to stay in control. They don't want to lose control of this situation. So yeah, they're kind of all over the map a little bit. <laughs> Their mind is, a, is kind of running away with them a bit. But they are thinking and strategizing about how to communicate, what to say. They're making some kind of plans here to uh, come after you. They want to have success. This is someone who plans for success. Yeah, look at this energy. Yeah, you're going to get something you want. This person's coming after you. Uh, I feel, you know, they're, yeah, they're... I feel this person's going to, uh, they may offer to take you somewhere. I feel like you're going to be open to this, but you're a little bit cautious, a little careful what you wish for. You're not going to offer anything because you know what you want. You want your wish come true. This person sees you as a wish come true, and I feel they're coming towards you, but they're a little cautious that you'll be open to them, regardless if they're an ex or somebody new. It's hard to say in this reading because I feel like you've gone through something. You've healed and released something. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's with this person. It could be another person. You definitely have been focusing on, on uh, work and money. You've been doing something, perfecting your skill, very much invested in it. So I, I think you're just ready to go out. You're ready for some kind of vacation or, um, to, you know, to get away. You just need to get away and, be, and feel free for a while. Yeah, very freeing energy. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is this here? Oops. Why is the Three of Cups here? There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit of a crossroads. Yeah, you're trying to make a choice. You might have a choice between a couple places to go, or you're at this crossroads trying to make a decision. I, I got a feeling you've met this person. You may have met them at some point, maybe on a trip or a vacation. Maybe you just set yourself free from it. You know, you had a good time. Some of you could be going to some kind of reunion with friends and family as well. But there's this crossroads, this choice, this path. 
and you're just not sure yeah some of you are tired you're ready for you're ready for some kind of change here you're ready to just get yourself out of this you're a little bit drained a little stuck I feel like you got this person who wants to approach you I feel like you've got somebody who wants to they're afraid of rejection or someone maybe feels they missed an opportunity maybe you feel that way I think you're tired I think you uh, you've been a bit drained you're it's time for a break and I wonder if this person's going to reach out and ask you if you want to go somewhere or do something as a way to kind of break the ice is what I'm feeling and they're a little cautious and they're wondering if you're going to even be open or even just available yeah I, I don't know if you have any past with this person uh, you might but I feel that whatever it is there's love here you know you have all the answers that you're seeking there's love like whatever it is you're seeking is right there if you're seeking love it's right there Pisces tell me about this love yeah it's about balance yeah there's definitely about emotional balance balance between two people there is a bond there is a connection this is what you're seeking I think you're about to get what you want I see success and victory and I feel like you're uh, very open I think you're about to get what you want wow Tell me about this transformation. Pisces. <laughs> I seen this was going to be good. I could see that beautiful healing, that flow. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect this. Tell me about this transformation. Yeah, so there is a little fear about where this will go. Yeah, this person's very focused on you. They might be a little bit afraid that you may be invested in somebody else, especially if you've met them. Maybe this person wanted to approach you at some point and you had too many people around you. Maybe they're worried they want to approach you and they're afraid you'll reject them or you just won't be interested. I feel like you're, you're, you might even be yourself planning something, planning a trip or a holiday, a little getaway. Uh, you need to get out of your head. It's time for a break. Uh, maybe you've been just it's you know you've been working around the clock and uh, you're feeling that way as well but I think you got this king of pentacles yeah look at this there's definitely some love here there's someone here who's definitely uh, balancing head over heart energy this is what someone's trying to do like their minds playing tricks they can't stop thinking about you they're kind of worried that you know maybe you've moved on or you won't be interested in them if, I feel like they're planning to make a move <laughs> I do. That's what they're planning is that movement to to reach out. This is someone who kind of a little bit cautious. Yeah, they're a little cautious, uh, but I do feel that they're very balanced emotionally. This person's gone through some kind of ending, some kind of transformation. They're they might just be afraid about where this is going to go, and I feel they're up in their head. They're up figuring something out. But if this is somebody who you have some kind of past with some kind of connection um you know this could be yourself a little bit worried uh, about this but I, I honestly feel you're more in that freeing energy it's like i just need to break free i need to get away or i want to get out and meet new people you need some attention some fun some excitement and i do see you having some success you might meet two people and you're not sure which one or you might meet some people and you're at this oh i don't know none of them are good enough you might be rejecting a few people because you're afraid or you've been hurt before uh, you have a fear you know of this transformation of some kind of ending but I think it's this person I do I think they want to approach you and they're just afraid you'll reject them and I do think that they have love oh boy do they and uh, whoever they are yeah this is someone who's holding on to you they're definitely holding back a little bit holding back their feelings uh, they're feeling a little bit in protective mode, feeling a little bit stuck, but there's just someone who's not letting go. They, yeah, they're holding back, but they do, they will open up eventually. They're going to just kind of put themselves out there. So they're planning that move. They're grounded. They're practical. This is someone who's probably not always the most emotional. Like this could be you, Pisces, you know, in that King of Cups energy. And you may be just holding back a little, trying to keep yourself, your emotions balanced. You know, don't offer too much too fast, a little caution about opening up. But I, I feel you're holding on to the situation and you really do want to be happy. Yeah, a little bit protective. You're looking at all the details of this and that's what's keeping you back. Like you're just, you're in your head too much. I feel like you're just in your head. 
some of you, this person that's coming towards you is in this energy because it is in the middle. And I feel like this person definitely does work with facts and figures. Like literally, I think they do math at night when they're sleeping. <laughs> I can see that person really being someone. This might be someone who doesn't always sleep the best, especially when they got things on their mind. Yeah. Tell me about this three. Here we go. Yeah, so there's somebody here. Yeah, so some of this person does want to come and work things out there, but they're afraid. Uh, they have this little bit of fear that it won't work out or that you've already moved on, especially if you know them. And yeah, they're feeling a little lonely, left out in the cold. And uh, uh, someone here is lonely. They're sad. They feel like they're not good enough. That could be it too. They just have some kind of insecurities that they need to work on. This could be them going through some of this. I do see it. you have this Virgo energy. Uh, I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here, Pisces. So yeah, this person needs to put this behind. It's time to put something behind and uh, to move towards something more successful. So maybe they had a painful ending with somebody, or maybe you did, and it's time to just let it go and allow things to transform. Maybe you're lonely and you realize, realize it's time to just go have a good time. But I feel, honestly, I feel like you're both going through a similar energy, but probably for different reasons. Tell me about the nine of staves. We got that twice. Nine of bows, nine of wands energy. Yeah, there's some kind of truth and success. Yeah, someone's ready to speak that truth. They want to have success. Some of you are going to end something with one person. You're just going to put it behind you and let it go. And you're going to move towards this new person. I, I feel that energy. But it, I mean, I don't know if it's you going to go towards them or them towards you. It looks like they're planning to come towards you. Yeah, there's some deep feelings and emotions, a little bit of fear. There's somebody's kind of keeping a little bit of a secret, their feelings. They got someone's in love here and they're keeping it to themselves. <laughs> they're kind of protecting it right now. They don't want to let go. I feel like this person's afraid that if they reach out to you and you reject them, that that's it. They have to let go and they don't want to let go. There's some kind of aha moment about this two of cups. The two people coming together, getting on that same page, talking, communing, communicating your fears, your emotions. There's some deep feelings, but there's definitely some kind of secret hidden energy, maybe a little bit of confusion. Uh, but something definitely, I think the truth can clear this up. And I think the truth is or someone has, uh, someone's in love with you, all right? Or you're in love with them, uh, probably in love with each other by the looks of it. <laughs> we shall see. Tell me about the seven. Yeah, there's definitely, yeah. Look at this beautiful energy. I, I, I feel as though there's, yeah, you got someone here who sees you as the one. And I feel they're waiting for the right opportunity to come towards you. They see you as just right. This is someone who wants to do things the right way, too. They want to talk to you right They because they want this to keep moving forward. They want to have success. Like I said, it could be a reunion or they're just going to offer you some kind of invitation. You may not be sure. Uh, you may have a few invitations and you may have to reject somebody. I mean, it's possible you could get several invitations all at once and then have to make a decision and you're going to sit down and go, now what do I do? <laughs> Who do I pick? You know what? You pick the one that you have the deepest feelings for. Or I, There's some kind of mystery too, like, you know, maybe that's the thing. You like that mystery. Who doesn't like a good mystery sometimes? It's very romantic sometimes. This could be some very romantic energy between two people as well. But there's that fear that it won't go anywhere, that they'll transform. And if this is someone coming back around, I feel that they are a little bit worried that it's too late. You've moved on to another person, that you've kind of given up. Uh, just sort of let them go. I don't think they want it. This is not someone who's going to give up, I'll tell you. This is someone who, once they know what they want, they go after it. They're, so there's something evolving, some kind of change. And uh, you may have changed how you feel, like they're worried that maybe you've changed how uh, you feel about them. This could be someone from a long time ago, like one really never knows for sure uh, when you see these reunions. And you may travel in the same social circle, you may know, um, you might have someone that a friend dated or something here. There's something about that too for somebody. Um, they may reach out to you and I don't think you're going to go for it or you're just not sure. Could be something with that too. 
Yeah, so I feel as there you are, Pisces. I feel like you both got some Pisces in your chart. Moon, rising, Venus. Somebody else has got a little bit of that energy, or you're just in that energy together, um, trusting your intuitions. You have the answers that you need. I feel this person wants to talk to you. Uh, they want to communicate. You've had a tough time in love, you know. You're ready for love. You're ready to move forward. You may move away from one person towards another person, leaving something in the past, avoiding a disaster, going off in another direction. Yeah, there's definitely something here to do with the foundation. I see a vacation. I see a trip. I see something being planned here. And I feel this person's going to offer you something. Maybe you've told your friends and they heard that you're going off somewhere and they're sitting there trying to think how to approach you. They're not sure what to do. Maybe they're thinking that they'll invite you somewhere. Maybe you mentioned you're ready for a holiday and uh, they're thinking that you'll reject them. There's definitely a little bit of fear there. <laughs> fear of rejection or just not sure how to deal with this see where this is going i think you're going to get something you want though and you're cautious though i can see you being in that cautious energy but you're hopeful at the same time and uh, just love yourself first stay in control you have the power here to control this situation keep your emotions in check everything will be fine all right pisces where is this leading there we go ah yes a fork in the road there's that fork that's this is the part of the reading that keeps drawing me back is this choice this fork in the road the decision about how to approach is this the right way is that the right way is this the right person that kind of energy and i think that's the it's about the approach yeah something's about to happen it's coming it's very close whenever it is it's coming very soon right at the edge someone's ready to take that leap I think you're ready for a leap. You're ready for a vacation. You're ready for a new adventure in love. Yeah, there's no place like home. There's someone who you feel like home to somebody and they want to come towards you. Some of you could be relocating, moving to a new home, a new neighborhood as well. Uh, or you could be, this could be a cabin that feels like home. You might be going on a, on a trip or a vacation. I feel vacation is really in the cards right up here. I absolutely see it. I do. And I feel like you're tired of being by yourself. You're ready to get out there and have some fun. You're ready for something more, you know, full of adventure. It's getting out in the great outdoors, possibly, whatever it is that you like to do. But this person's on that same path. They want to come towards you. Yeah, there's been a little bit of a break little bit of healing this is yourself maybe this person wants to take a break and they want to reach out and hey you want to get together do you want to go somewhere so this is cool all right so i'm going to grab one more i don't want to leave it with that energy i think you're both ready for a break you and this person maybe they you mentioned something to friends and they heard about it or you put something on social media uh, they may have heard some gossip and they want to talk to you i hope they do pisces i really hope they do there, these cards are all upside down hold on oh pisces pisces got me all flustered all right pisces one more card for the outcome where's this headed there we go that one wants to come out these cards are so big ah imagination wherever you want <laughs> Some of you are dreaming about this. I think someone's dreaming about you. I've seen it down here. They're waking up at night. They're thinking and strategizing how to make a move. Uh, they don't want to regret anything. They want to make sure they do this right. They say all the right things. They don't want to sabotage this. They want this to work. They want to... This person's ready to cooperate, compromise. They're ready for a new path. They're going to take what resonates. I think you got someone who's getting a tarot card reading. And they're taking what resonates, leaving the rest behind. I do. I think they're very intelligent. I think this is somebody who's very wise, full of wisdom. Yeah, it's just, you know, that's that intuition. And it, it could be you, but it could be them as well. Because like I said, I feel like you both got some of that Pisces energy. So take care. I feel it's positive. Okay, you're both dreaming of each other here. There's something here. Whatever it is that you imagine. As I said, where is this going? wherever you want it to it's in you know you're wherever you imagine it's going to go it's all about taking that action so take care bye for now